just wondering if you could tell me briefly about your past history in sourcing venture capital. Uh, sure, yeah. So we actually managed to run the company probably for quite a bit longer than most companies do before we raised venture capital. So uh, we got to the point of um, not only bringing in revenues, but profitability in wow. the company before we decided to take the plan. Impressive. Um, so that was really great and I think very, very much benefited us when it was time to raise money. Okay. We were able to do that partly because we just ran the company really, really lean and bootstrapped it and um, did, did a few things that I think really helped us to save money early on. Great. And then um, in sort of rerunning the company for two and a half years, at the end of 2008, we actually won a grant from the, the Facebook fund. So that really provided us with our seed capital. Great. It was enough for us to build the technology, uh, get our first customers, get to profitability. Um, so sort of avoid a lot of that early stage, trying to find money. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really helped. But we did eventually... Um, sort of early this year, uh, start to think seriously about raising venture capital money. And, and that was really because the space we're in has grown so fast. We saw what a huge potential we have. And, and although I think we definitely could have continued without raising money and just bringing in, um, you know, supporting the business through the cash that we generated, I think we just felt like it would be good to have that cushion so we could grow as aggressively as, as yes. we liked. So we raised... Um, Start it really turned around the whole process. It took about six weeks from when I first wow. got serious about it. So we'd been talking to a lot of VC firms along the way because they'd shown a lot of interest in what we're doing. But from when I sort of decided, okay, let's go for it, to when we, um, you know, decided on a term sheet or agreed upon a term sheet, it was really only about six weeks. Um, and so closed that in early March, went through the due diligence process that was closed in April and, and raised a little over $4 million. Oh, um, congratulations. Yeah, which has been great. We raised it from um, Summit Partners, actually, which is a little bit of an unusual choice because they're actually a growth equity fund, not a right. VC firm. Right. Uh, and that option was open to us because we were a profitable company. And right. We just really liked the firm, liked their philosophy. Uh, they offered us great terms, and I really, really liked the partner. So we've been thrilled with that choice. But it was a little non-traditional for a company of our stage. Fantastic. So. Oh, congratulations. It sounds like um, just a win-win all the way through. There. It's been great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, with any business, there is ups and downs yeah. and lots of things to worry about but it has been a, a pretty great run for us fantastic yeah fantastic what personal lessons being a woman have you taken out of your successes and or failures in in this regard as far as sourcing venture uh yeah so i've i don't know if these are different because i'm a woman or just would be general lessons yep. i think yep. sure. um you know certainly things like perseverance and and you know being well prepared for meetings I think was very important mm -hmm. so coming in uh, you know having thought very carefully about what questions you might be asked and just having a good compelling story where you've thought everything through I think is, is really really important um, that that served us well I think you know using our network was really really important so that we, we really didn't have that experience of having to sort of knock on door to door to door trying to get a meeting we were able to in most cases um, either because a VC firm reached out to us or because we had a friendly introduction we were able right, to get, get in right. the door that really helped set the, the tone I think. Yeah. Um, the other thing is uh, I, I spent a lot of time really um, getting a lot of information before we made the decision about the partner that we we're going to be dealing with and talking to as many people as we possibly could trying to make sure that we'd be really comfortable with uh, because you've got to get comfortable with the firm, yes. That's yeah, important. I mean, it's a long-term relationship, isn't it? But it's it? the partner you're dealing with all the time. Yeah. I see that even more now that, um, yes, we've gone with a firm, some are partners, I'm thrilled with them, they're really happy, but it's the partner there, Harrison, that I'm dealing with um, you know, all the time. And so being comfortable with that person, mm. feeling like you're on the same page, that mm. you share similar values, uh, I think is really important. So that, you know, one is sort of, getting um, firms to talk to you, another is getting a term sheet, the next is choosing between those. That was definitely a stressful process, but I think really, really thinking carefully about who it is you're going to work with is, is very important. Yeah, so um, yeah, being careful about that at the, the outset. Mm -hmm. What attitudes towards you being fem female have you noted or not noted from yeah. venture capitalists when you were sourcing venture? Um, yeah, I honestly... Honestly, I just I didn't notice any, that is so at least great, overtly. So you never know what someone might be thinking, you know, thinking <laughs> or talking about when the door is closed. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like it was helped by the fact that you were having referrals or that the, 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 they'd so. approached you. I think so. And, you know, um, 
Yeah, probably uh, going back to the other question, another thing I should have mentioned that I think yes. really, really helped us was waiting as long as we could before we raised money so that we had traction, so yes. that we had yes. a really good story, we'd proven success, we'd yes. proven that we could scale a team even though we were much smaller than we are now in yes. terms of team, we brought in revenues, we'd proven we had customers, so I think possibly to the extent that there are um, that some VCs have concerns about women entrepreneurs, maybe if you've already proven it to them and said, look, I've already built this company, I've yes. got these revenues, yeah. I've had success, maybe some of those concerns go away. But honestly, the, the honest truth is I didn't feel anything like and that. And so you would be one of those pathfinders because you, you do have proven success. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Good on you. What qualities do you think women entrepreneurs need specifically for sourcing venture? And if, if it hasn't been as a woman that you've seen yourself sourcing venture, what would be the qualities that you I would think you need? Yeah, um, so you know, like I said, I think we had a, a really pretty dream run in that there was a lot of interest in our business and, and we actually took money when we didn't even need to take money, so yep. that's a great position to be in. So some of the things that I would say you probably really need to have, uh, I perhaps didn't need to have as much in this particular scenario, but things like perseverance and having a thick skin, I think <laughs> okay. are probably really important for, okay. for a lot of people when you're raising money. If okay. if you're not in a situation where the VC firms are reaching out to you mm. and you're trying to get in front of them, then mm. persevering and persevering and persevering mm. and not being, um, not taking it personally when you do get rejected, I'm sure are very, very important. Okay. Um, I think, uh, let me see. I, was thinking about a few. Oh, uh, negotiation skills are important. Okay. So yeah, okay. I mean, it, 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 when you get to that point of having a term sheet and choosing who you're going to work with, I think it's pretty important to have good negotiation skills because that can get fairly intense. Yeah. Um, and then you know, just being really articulate, being a good salesperson, you're telling a story, so you've got to be convincing and mm -hmm. be able to really um, get the investors really excited about your vision and about um, your story. So being able to articulate that really mm -hmm. well, and and you know, I think beyond that, it's it's actually really just what qualities do you need to be a good entrepreneur because that's what the investors are looking at. Yeah. So yeah. so really, the the most important qualities I think in terms of getting VC funding are that you have the right qualities to be a good entrepreneur. And then people are going to want to invest in you. Of course, so that's then they, they, they trust you. Yeah, 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 exactly. Thank you. In your opinion, what percentage of women would qualify then as regards having these qualities? And could they be developed? If so, what are your ideas about how that could happen? Uh, yeah, Do you I, think I, they're innate with women? Do you think a lot of women have these these? Yeah, I think so. Great. Perseverance and hard work and good leadership skills and Great. vision and creativity, all the things that it takes to be an entrepreneur, I think plenty of women have those. Great. So probably it's more what ta what does it take to encourage that? Yeah. Um, you know, in in college or maybe even earlier, just making women aware, frankly making anyone aware, but making women aware that that's an option, that that's actually a career choice you mm -hmm. can make because mm -hmm. certainly when I was in college it didn't occur to me that one option would be, you know, I could go and be an entrepreneur. Okay. The other thing is obviously is that um, for VC funding specifically, generally the VCs are investing in technology companies, so yes. getting women interested in technology earlier on is, is probably going to be pretty important to get yeah. more women involved in, yeah. in entrepreneurship. Right, okay, thank you.